podcasters, it's Friday, and what are we gonna eat today? I have a suggestion that starts with this. Ready? Frozen meatballs will become a French bread meatball and pesto pizza. You! Who doesn't like that? It's very simple. The beginning of this is like this. There we go. Ow. Sorry, too loud? Yeah. So it's, look, these things are already cooked. So put some on a, in a bowl and then they're gonna get maybe a minute, for this many, maybe a minute and a half. That's it. Oh my God, dogs. Too many dogs. In the microwave. While it cooks, follow my directions for a simple little white sauce to go underneath the meatballs. Okay, start by melting two tablespoons of butter in a small pot. Add, uh, add a clove of minced garlic to the butter and stir. All right, so this is, uh, is thickening. I want to add some Parmesan. What happened there? I want to add some Parmesan cheese to it. So come, we'll do that. Look at how nice. It's getting thick. So now we'll just do this. We'll just microplane in some Parmesan cheese to make this deliciously rich and thick. Okay, now our meatballs should be ready. Because we're not going to put them on there like that, but you can just. Oh, nice little meatballs. And I have a pizza crust here that I could use, but I also have leftover from last night. That's great bread. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to make I'm gonna make a uh, like an open face. What do you call these things? Uh, open face sandwich. Right? Like an open face kind of thing, right? Like this. Here's my. Oh, this gar you should build this. You should smell this. This is this garlic white sauce that could go on all kinds of things. I mean, you've kind of made like a quick, simple little Alfredo, which is gonna be great. All right, so watch how I wanna do this, actually. Let me swap out these cut balls for the whole ones. I have in the fridge a little pesto. Store-bought, I sometimes make my own pesto, but sometimes I just like it to be easy, so. You just mix it up a little bit. Throw a spoonful in here. To these guys. Just give them a little extra olive oil. And then this. And use it on this like we would tomato sauce on the base of a pizza. And then we're gonna throw our meatballs down on this. I say it all the time, don't be, don't be uh, cheap when it comes to this kind of stuff, you know? That's what I'm talking about, beautiful. Now a little mozzarella. Good, and then there, maybe a little bit more cheese. <clears throat> we take a second just to tell you about Squarespace. Square, square, I can never do it. Squarespace.com, our new website is being built on their platform. We showed you a peek of it the other day. We can't wait for it to be finished. 
We finally figured out getting all the recipes in and there's six, seven hundred recipes on my old website that are now going to be on the new one. There's going to be pictures, there's going to be video, it's going to be gorgeous. Go to squarespace.com, check them out. If you have any interest at all in building your own website for whatever reason, check them out. It's as inexpensive as eight dollars a month. It's a site builder like no others. Nice, simple, clean and elegant and hey, I'm all about elegant. Obviously, look at how I cook. Apparently, I'm not all the time, but they are all about elegant and you'll be surprised at how simple it is for as little as eight bucks a month and when you buy the service, put my name Sam in at the checkout, you'll get 10% off your order. All right, take a quick break. We come right back, pull this guy out of the oven and then we see you. And here we are, check this out. Oh, baby, come on. Come over here, Max, you can look at this. You know, is that beautiful or what? Woo. Look at that. Should we try a little bite? Yeah. I don't know where to go. Oh, hear that? There's a reason not to use a pizza crust thing because, well, because this is what you got. Hold on. Oh, my God. Oh, holy crap. Mmm. Oh my god, is that good? The creaminess and the little garlic from that white sauce, boom. Not an overload of pesto on this, the meatballs, nice and simple, crispy, mmm, and crunchy. All right, this is a great way to end the week. No, it's an amazing way to end the week. Make this for somebody you love, or just make it for yourself. You love yourself, right? Khalil Gibran says, you cannot begin to love somebody else until you love yourself first. That's from his book, The Prophet, that I read when I was like 13. All right. Thanks for hanging out with us. Tell your friends, make this, don't eat bad food, start making more of your own food at home. That's why we're here. We want you to do that. Have a good weekend. Next week, simple breakfast week. We start off with a bagel egg thing that you make like that. Have a good weekend. See ya.